he never complained, but, that, but this haunts at me, that he honestly thought in this country, in this country, he knew that he could not get any kind of medical help for his heart, that it was all done. I got down to the pizza shop at 4 o'clock because I needed to give him, his birthday was going to be on the 18th, and I wanted to give him an early birthday present. And I said to him, are you feeling okay? Because his cheeks were red. He said, did you see me standing right by those ovens? And I said, yeah. He said, well, they're hot. So I said, okay, so you're feeling okay. I guess he was leaning on a table at work, and his boss, who just loved him, said, Bill, what's wrong? He said, oh, nothing. I'm just tired. And he said, well, you worked late last night. You go ahead home. So he got in his car. He drove a block going up 44th Street. We don't know how he did it, but I guess he was swerving a little bit coming to the stop, threw his car in park, and slumped over his steering wheel. And what's so tragic is if he had just had better health care, or any health care, or if anybody saw him, if he wasn't invisible to everybody, because the plight of the working poor is invisible to just about everybody. And if it wasn't, then I'd have that tomorrow. I'd be able to call him, or see him, or anything but remember him.